Welcome to my YouTube channel. This is my first video. I'm going to walk you through my painting called Twinkles of Light. It's on a 12 by 12 canvas. And um, so grab a cup of tea or coffee and I will um, go through and tell you as I um, paint. Right now, my canvas already had marks on it from um, previous painting sessions where I had cleaned up brushes and brayers. And so it's a good way to um, get rid of the blank canvas syndrome that you have, like staring at a black wall. Um, I do that all the time because one, I hate white canvas. Second, I don't like to waste paint. And third is environmental. The less paint goes in the paint um, bucket to wash my brushes, the less um, it goes down the drain. And I can use always use that paint on the painting. This is the first layer. So I'm just painting along and putting in color as I see fit. There is no rhyme or reason to it. Um, just putting down colors as I see um, that would look good together. Um, I'm using um, gray right now. I mix colors as I go along. I start with basic colors and then as I go along, I mix my colors that makes them more um, um, harmonious because um, that way um, there are no glaring colors that stand out. Um, right now, um, what I'm going to be using is um, Taylor blue and with a little bit of gray and black in it and um, it's just making making marks putting things down then I'm gonna flatten out those marks at the top a little bit um, make it a little more um, tamed. Um, so I'm using white. And um, as you can see, my brush has other colors on it. So, and I don't mind that um, because I just think it leaves an unintended color when you put it down and mark that leaves. It adds something to the painting, which you cannot get if you try to um, be precise and leave it, um, you know, in a certain way. So, um, the colors that I use are, um, I use a combination of two or well, three companies. I use Liquitex paint, Noa colors and golden. So um, at the start and the cr uh, start of the video, I have a list of colors and what company that I got them from. Um, I like all three um, colors. Um, certain colors I like from golden and certain I like from Noa a lot. So I'm coming to a point where I need to stop before I start um, making mud. And so I'm going to let it dry overnight and then I will come back to it um, the next day. Um, and after it dried a little bit, what I had done was I left, made some marks on the painting with my barbecue skewer. So that's those are the lines that you see, the yellow lines and the black. And um, it's just um, scratching the paint out a little bit. Um, that um, creates interest to the painting. 
They might not show towards the end, but um, they add texture as well. So here I'm using um, fluorescent magenta mixed with white and a little bit of yellow ochre. So it looks like a little bit of um, pink, rose pink, like dusky pink color. And um, I'm just putting marks down. Um, and then I'm going to use my skewer, a barbecue skewer, to take some yellow um, ochre and Indian yellow mixed with white to leave some dots on the painting. I like using skewers or untraditional tools because it um, creates um, different lines and different textures in a painting and um, that adds interest to it. So um, here I'm just using a little bit of white. Um, all of this might not show in the final painting, but uh, some of it will. So now what I'm doing is I have taken um, sap green and green gold and made it into like a, a really light green. And I'm just adding um, lighter highlights to the dark areas. I'm putting a little more definition into my painting. Um, I don't have any music on the videos because I usually don't like to hear, listen to music when I'm watching somebody paint. So um, I hope you're all right with that. Um, here I have mixed um, green with black and created a um, beautiful grayish green color. It kind of um, adds depth to the painting when you put it in the front. And um, now I want it a little darker, so I'm using um, black gesso on golden. Um, I like using gesso sometimes because um, it gives a little tooth to the painting and um, also it uh, gives a little texture. And there I am just defining the areas that I want to um, stand out. When you put dark against light or light against dark, it um, contrast draws your eyes towards it. Um, so, um, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to take um, a skewer and I'm going to put marks on the dark area. It is not meant to be very um, defined, but it um, adds interest to the painting. Also, it um, brings out a little bit of the dark greenish gray color between it, as well as the pink that was there before. Or, and then um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a deli paper, which is basically a, um, it is a wax paper, and I'm going to lift it from one end and just put it um, to other side. This kind of creates, um, transverse paint creates texture and design, or 
unintended marks that makes it interesting. Here I am using a um, little bit of yellow ochre. Well, basically that's what was, was on my brush. I've taken white and I am covering up a little bit of the top of the painting. So to add, um, to push back the blue marks and the dark marks that were there before because I want to draw attention towards the lower part of the painting. And um, I usually hold my brush from towards the, um, not very close to the tip, towards the end so that it's uh, free. Um, there's no um, precise marks to it. I like loose and um, free marks on my paintings. And I'm just, again, putting on more layer of color to add interest to the bottom. Um, I have don't have a painting, um, I don't have a picture that I'm copying, or I am just responding to the painting as I go along. Again, I'm putting marks in there. There are some times when I like um, hard lines, since there's some I don't, and here I am just, um, I want that white over there next to the black to be a little softer. And my paintings always have circles and marks, and so here, that's my marks that I'm looking and pushing back the white. Again, this is a smaller brush creating different um, um, marks. When you do marks with different sizes, it adds interest. So if you, then I'm taking it up to the top where um, I'm just putting a little bit of pink over there. So if you like this video, subscribe and um, follow me along and um, give it a thumbs up. It's still working on it. I think I am happy with it, but um, I have to look at it the next day. And then when the next day I came back and I looked at it and I was not completely happy, so um, I came in with white to create more texture and layers, um, covering up some of the yellow and the, making the sky a little more white. Now that I finally decided that this is going to be um, a landscape, like you're looking up hill, you know, that kind of a view or vista. And this is just pure white uh, that I'm using and I'm using it again very lightly. Um, I want to show the layers that are under and the colors that are underneath there, but um, um, but I don't want them to stand out so prominent. This is um, 
gives this a misty effect. If you're in, on Instagram, you can follow me on Instagram. My Instagram handle is at Rena Patel Artist. Um, um, you can come by and say hi and see, say that you watched my video so that I know that you looked at it. Um, also have a website, RenaPatelArt.com. Here I um, am putting white on white, so I'm applying white in a thick layer. The different sizes again, um, it's just, I love this effect of um, having white on white. So I've been doing that quite a bit. Um, it looks like, um, light twinklings, twinkling of light through the mist. And I like that effect. Again, if you like what you see, subscribe and uh, give it a thumbs up. And um, I've been working on a few other videos. It took me a while to figure out how to edit this video <laughs> for my 10 year old son. Um, knew more about it, so he helped me uh, figure it all out. So I am very thankful to him for helping me get it um getting me over the learning curve. And I'm using the edge the corner of the brush to make those marks and they are um, it's a very interesting way of putting marks on because um, again you have no control and um, you can get some very interesting marks these are coming out as little hearts so I love that I love unintended um, marks like hearts and things that come out when you're painting. So there, I'm almost done. Just finishing up. That, um, the horizontal movement with the brush creates an effect of water and um, I like that I always like to have water in my paintings too isn't it interesting how we all have certain things that we put in our all our paintings and I am done no I guess not
there. The painting is finished. Now, it's called Twinkles of Light. Um, hope you enjoyed it.